Hi, and welcome to Visual Art Photography. I'm Ray Scott. If you've been following me on my other channel, Macro World, you know that uh, recently we did a tutorial on macro musical instruments. And I encouraged you to use a piano or maybe a saxophone, whatever. Musical instruments are great to photograph, even in a macro setting. And we had some really interesting results. So you may want to check that out. The link is down below to Macro World and that particular video. Now we ended up using a guitar, but it also turns out you can take great pictures of musical instruments when you pull back a little bit. And in this video, we've pulled back and we're shooting a guitar. And the results can be really, really fabulous. So let's get started on that. So things that are going to be really important for this project, lighting, crucial, uh, depth of field, composition. And we're going to take a look at that. We're also going to take a look at the setup. So this is the way uh, we started off on the project. First off, I have to stress that while I'm using studio lighting, window lighting can work great. The, the idea though is to be very aware of the lighting, okay? Now I'm using light on the left, I'm using light on the right, and also in the front. So I've got this thing really well lit up, which is causing a problem uh, in a sense, because now you're, all that black velvet is, is lit up and the camera wants to expose it for uh, for gray, so it's going to show up in my image. So what am I going to do? I'm going to underexpose it by three stops. And that way, in the final image, it will be black. That velvet will be black, and all you will see is the guitar. All right? So be very, very aware of the exposure, depending on what kind of lighting you're using and what kind of background uh, that you're using. So we saw the lighting setup and the effect that we get now is almost like a flying guitar as it appears to be just hanging there in space. But in actual fact, you saw it, it was uh, on a table. That's where the black velvet comes in handy. Now the way you treat it, hey, it's totally up to you. Whether you want a white background or a different color background or maybe you're using a green screen, whatever it is, um, it's totally up to you. But I just wanted to show you that you can do it. You can actually just make it look like the thing is suspended somewhere. Now. Shot at f22 for maximum depth of field, and you saw, as I mentioned, the lighting setup for this particular shot. Now, as we move along, um, we take another look at it from a different angle, and we see the, the beautiful shape of the guitar. And that's something that you want to highlight also, because there's a sandburst effect on this guitar. You have a different shading and different coloration, and, uh, and it's kind of nice. f22 again. Or you can move it a little bit closer and capture the sound hole and the strings and things like that. And this is shot at f4, so a shallow depth of field. I just wanted to have a slice of it in focus and then the rest it goes off to focus. Because remember, we're, we're trying to capture images that are a little bit different and something, again, that we may want to put up on the wall in, uh, in a cozy part of our home. Or you can move in like this and just kind of crop it and almost make it like a panoramic thing and another part of the guitar. A different way to look at it as you're down low. Our second setup has us put the guitar, putting the guitar on another angle and this way it's on its side and it's just resting on the edge of the table. It's, it's balancing very precariously there but you have to be careful about that. You don't want to drop the instrument but anyway. Well lit again. Two lights on it this time. You can use window light, it's just going to be just as effective. Again, very aware of the exposure with the black velvet, uh, minus three exposure value, so that the velvet will go black, and we can do all kinds of different things and get around this guitar and move around and get all kinds of different angles to make things very, very interesting. Now you saw the lighting setup for this particular shot, and again, you've got the black velvet. I've put the guitar on its side, and again, it it seems to be just suspended there. But as you can see, the lighting is key. And the way I set it up, I had the main body of the guitar lit up and it kind of drifts off into darkness. And I, I like that effect. It's not complete blackness. You can still see the headstock of the guitar and the tuning machines and so on and so forth. But 
they're definitely in sh more in shadow and I just kind of like the way it just goes off into the distance. F22 for this. Alright, now as the guitar is on its side, the dynamic, diagonal, again, as uh, the guitar is just kind of swooping out at you, shot at a shallow depth of field of F4. Now you can take the same shot and F F16 has it look like this. F4, F16, as the fretboard comes out to the left hand side and he just pushes out at you. Uh, here's a different look, more of an angle on a different way. Okay, now you've, I've angled the camera so that it is almost like the guitar is about to fall over onto its front. This is shot at F4 again. And look at the dynamic, look at the way it's pushing. Look at the way that fretboard is just pushing right out uh, of the shot. F4, F16. All right, depends on what effect you're looking for. Personally, I like the shallow. It just, it's kind of abstract and I kind of like to go that way sometimes. And for another completely different look, something maybe for a poster or, you know, like a magazine uh, cover, something like that, take a look at this. For this particular shot, we're only using one light coming in from the right hand side at quite an angle to the guitar. And that's so that it can kind of separate the strings a little bit from the instrument. And it gives it a, a different effect. You can see on the back of the camera there what we're looking at, and it's really, really interesting. So let's take a closer look right now. Oh, and by the way, you'll notice that we're using the vertical format just for something a little bit different. Now you saw the setup for this and the lighting just coming in from that one side, and it just, it kind of lights up the strings. Now, for me, I really like this shot. This is what I'm looking at, but the next shot I like even more, and this is it here. You're just getting a piece of the guitar. You know it's a guitar, but you're not getting the headstock. You're not getting the sound hole. You're just getting that. And for me, that's, for, for my style and for what I was looking for, this is just printable. It's very, very simple. I can put this up on my wall. Now, if you were looking for something like a poster or something you were doing a magazine or something like that, you could even put some text with it if you want and have something like this, you know, guitar star, learn guitar the easy way. It, you know, you can do it a million different ways. I just slapped this together to give you an idea that it can be something other than this is, which is what I'm actually going to go with for my print. But if you want it to do something like that, and of course you can do it a million different ways and a million ways better than this, but just to give you an idea that you can go beyond that. I think you can accomplish a lot, no matter what kind of musical instrument you're using, whether it's a guitar or something else. And good luck. I hope you give it a shot. Until next time, I'm Ray Scott reminding you, it's not what you see, it's how you see it. And I'll see you soon.